welcome to this new video in this new video i'm going to show you how to configure the socks ip application in the udp request mode so if you are new to this channel please do want to like this video before i begin subscribe to this channel share this video to people who might be interested in this type of content and leave me a comment if you do not understand something or if there's something you want to learn on this channel i'll be happy to do a video on that thank you so to create a UDP request file on SoxIP will need just these two applications. The notepad application will be used just to save our server details, and the SoxIP application will be used to configure the files. So, let me show you the server I created and I pasted it in my notepad. So, this is my server details. I created it yesterday, February 14, and it will expire on February 21st. So the server is valid for, for seven days. All we need in this video is the username, the password, and the IP address. I've copied everything already, so we'll just go to the Sox IP application. Once it opens up, we just have to click on this setting icon to start the configuration. Once you open up, this is what you're going to see. All you have to do is just to click on this request tunnel button, select UDP request, and click on configure UDP request button. Once you're here, click on this button at the top here of the screen. And select custom server once you're here we'll just edit this we'll just add the IP address for the server the server username server password will modify this and that's all so here since I've copied everything I'll be very fast I'll paste the IP address paste the username paste the password this start port i will leave it at one and this end port i will leave it i will write six five five three five that's all whatever is down here you do not touch then you will come and enable binding up here and you click on save that's all you just go back and you click on start so to save your folder to create a file you just click up here and you're going to just click on import and export here you select export please if you're new to this channel do well to like this video subscribe to this channel and leave a comment if you do not understand anything i'm doing and uh, here you just put the name of the file and you click on this block or if you want to put a message to your users you put it here and you click on export so I'm just going to give a name UDP request I click on all and you set the expiring date for two days and here you're just going to put a message expires in seven days that's all you're going to save the file in the directory you created for it already I save it here see config save to import the file you click here again please do want to like the video if you haven't liked it click on import search for the file you just created here it is you see file expires on the 17th of february config loaded happy browsing so here's a message i left for the user expires in seven days so thanks for watching the video i will see you in another video so stay safe do it to subscribe if you haven't subscribed